The first day that I walked into dependency court, um, I've never experienced the feeling that I felt that day. I was confused, I was lost, I was frustrated, I was angry. There was, uh, you know, every range of emotion going through my body. I just remember feeling very um, lost, very lost, very broken. I was given a psych evaluation after my first three children were removed from my care. I remember DFCS reading it in court and it stated that there was no amount of services that would rehabilitate me to become a parent because I never had a parent in my life. And I had no answers. I had no clue what the next step was. All I knew was that I was told I had to be someplace and it was at court if I wanted my kid. Dependency Advocacy Center is a nonprofit legal services organization and we provide court-appointed representation to parents and some children in the child welfare system in Santa Clara County. Historically in the child welfare system nationally, the model is to have attorneys court-appointed to represent parents in the juvenile dependency system. We use a team of attorneys, social workers, and mentor parents uh, to provide a holistic approach to the legal representation that we give our clients. When my children were removed from me, I became very resentful and angry towards DFCS because of my childhood and having a social worker from DFCS kind of made me rebel against them. When I first met my DAC social worker, it didn't feel like somebody was just supervising a visit. It felt like she was trying to find the connections and the bonds between me and Oliani so she could help us get unsupervised or overnights. I know she came two or three times, and I know by the second time I was just in love with her. The clients that we serve are mostly indigent. Uh, many of them have issues with uh, drug or alcohol addiction, mental health, uh, domestic violence histories. By having a social worker be part of the attorney's office, we're able to provide a, a different level of service. We're able to have somebody who works for the attorney who can speak to those clinical issues and also help the attorney better serve that client. My wife and I had a long history of incarceration and drug use and abuse. It was a lot of fighting at times. It was um, a lot of disagreeing. The day that my children were removed, it was my youngest daughter's birthday. My parents got arrested that day for doing drugs. <laughs> I remember being handcuffed in a chair in the front yard while my daughter was playing in the dirt at my feet and I had no idea what was gonna happen. It was scary for me because when they said get down to the ground, I actually thought I was supposed to and I thought that was like weird. After we were arrested, my older children had to go to Oregon to live with their grandparents while my youngest daughter ended up in protective custody. For many of our clients, by the time they come into the courthouse, they have lost any social support that they had had. And at the point that they come into court, they've now lost their children. And that often means that they've lost their housing. And it almost always means that they've lost hope. So for these parents to come in and have a team, not just of an attorney, but also potentially a social worker and a mentor parent, someone who's been in their same shoes, uh, to work with that parent and to advocate for them, I think it means, it means everything. My experience with my DAC attorney was like I, some, it was like an experience like I never had with any other attorney. They, um, she actually cared. She explained everything to me thoroughly um, and gave me hope for the first time in a long time. Uh, scared, but I had I had some hope and uh, something I hadn't experienced in many many years. I'm fighting for my kids. I'm not trying to get in any trouble. You know, they could have looked at it any way. The courts, um, my, my social worker, my attorney could have looked at it any way. But just instantly, they're fighting for me. She was always on my side. I never once, and she was a mother. She was a mother and she'd never been in jail. She'd never been in trouble. She's raising her son the best way she can. And she never once looked down on me because I was the addicted mom, you know? How do they do that? They gave me what I needed <sighs> to start believing in myself because I didn't deserve it. I knew my kids did, but I didn't.
I'm so proud of them. Like, there's no words to describe it, I guess. Because <laughs> it's just, it's a lot of work to overcome something like that. And to lose everything and then to just come back up and start over and prosper doing it. It's a big accomplishment. I'm so proud. I kind of had to rely on my siblings and uh, my grandparents a lot growing up. So I'm just glad that I actually can have the experience of having real parents. The Mentor Parent Program is an example of one of the programs that has really evolved over time to meet the needs of the community that we're serving. It's something that we are very proud of and that we believe gives our clients the best possible chance for success. At the age 17, I was introduced to meth. Uh, it was crank then, and um, I, I loved it. My using affected my son, causing him to be removed from me. I remember he was very upset that he did not want to live with me, that he didn't want to be anywhere around me, and he didn't call me mom for a very, very long time. My experience with my mentor parent was awesome. She helped me realize that if I'm clean, I can accomplish anything. And before my mentor parent, I didn't have that. I have now been clean and sober for three years and three months and a couple weeks. My hopes and my dreams are to stop the cycle in my family for um, DFCS. Um, and hopefully my children don't follow the same path I did um, and make better choices. To be a mentor now feels completely honorable. It's a pleasure. I am so blessed to be able to give back what was so freely given to me. To help people, mothers to be specific, feel the freedom that I felt when I decided to completely surrender to completely admit powerlessness and to learn what it means to actually focus on my recovery so I can focus on being a better parent. I can't wait sometimes to get to work. It's pretty awesome. I now am a mentor parent for DAC. I help fathers struggling with drug and alcohol addiction and that have lost their children. I get to give back what was given to me. It's just wonderful to have that feeling that I have people to depend on for my future.